Time now to take a look at what's uh, making headlines here in France. We're joined by Florence Vilman for that. Good morning to you. Uh, lots of focus on a hotly anticipated report on how to reform France's notoriously complicated labour code. Major overhaul, of course, scheduled for 2018. That's right. The report was carried out by uh, Robert Badinter. He's very famous here in France, a legal expert, big socialist. He was actually uh, the man who really pushed for the uh, death penalty to uh, be abolished here in France in 1981. Uh, so he's been in charge with trying to come up with this plan to reform France's very complicated labor laws. He's delivered this report, 61 fundamental principles which are expected to be the backbone of France's future labor code. And you can see here, Le Monde gives, gives, sums up these 61 principles into this one sentence. Bédater wants to put workers' rights back into the heart of labor laws. Well, the Catholic paper La Croix is also focusing on that report. He's calling, uh, they're calling France's labor laws a work in progress. That's right. If at first you don't succeed, try again. That's uh, what La Croix is saying today. And, and this illustration shows just what's at stake here, trying to find a balance between workers' rights and the rights of business owners. And La Croix says that Badinter's report insists on the importance of dignity and respect for workers all the while trying to cut some red tape, because, of course, France is very known for its complicated laws. Uh, so the idea, according to La Croix, is to give more room for negotiations uh, on a case-by-case -case basis and less room to wide-ranging, rigid rules. Essentially, the idea is to make things less complicated and more flexible. Well, this report's already drawing criticism from across the political spectrum and the communist paper L'Humanité, not happy at all. That's right. Let's take a look at the front page of L'Humanité. It says that this Badinter report is an open door to all sorts of backward reforms to come. We are going from a minimal power for trade unions to a maximum power for business owners. This is not at all fair, according to L'Humanité, and the real losers in all this are going to be workers. According to uh, the right-wing paper, Le Figaro, they're reporting that French people are craving change. That's right. If we take a look at the front page, they're saying that they're, they're ready. Uh, Fr les fr Français prêts à tout changer. They're ready to change everything. And in fact, uh, Le Figaro has an interesting poll today. Uh, it says that 85% of people find the current labor code too complicated. 76% just find it completely unreadable. They don't understand a word that's in it. And 63% say it's actually a hurdle to employment. So it's really not doing what it should be. In its editorial, Le Figaro says, sure, okay, French people might be craving change, uh, but they don't really believe it's possible because the truth is the government isn't going to overhaul the main sticking points in France's very complicated labor codes, uh, essentially minimum wage, uh, working contracts. They're very complicated here in France. Mm. And the boogeyman, the big boogeyman, of course, the 35-hour work week. Uh, according to Le Figaro, the government isn't going to change, isn't going to touch these very important things that need to be changed if France wants to have a more flexible uh, working system. And the, why is the government not going to do this? Well, it doesn't want to upset anyone. That's what Le Figaro says. And so Le Figaro says French people want change, but they're going to have to wait until after the next presidential election to get the spring cleaning they want in all this system. Well, the business paper Le Echo, they're uh, saying that the government might actually put this 35-hour work week into question. That's right. It's ambiguous. Mm. Uh, that's what a lot of papers are saying. If we take a look at the front page of Le Echo, it says uh, the, it seems like the Prime Minister Manuel Valls is going to make a gesture, an exception for small businesses, essentially make it easier for them to have access to extra time. But Lizico says the prime minister is being very vague about whether or not the government will reform the 35-hour work week, and if it does, how it's going to do so. L'Opinion agrees. Valls is being very ambiguous with respect to the 35-hour work week. And according to L'Opinion, this isn't really good for the government. Kind of sh Being kind of mysterious about that makes it seem like the government doesn't really know exactly what it's doing. Now, La Croix, the, if we go back to that paper, this is interesting. It says it, it's not the first time a government has been ambiguous about the 35-hour work week. You can see they're talking about the endless 35-hour work week. It comes up time and time again in debates. Governments from the left and from the right are always saying they're going to do something about it, but they don't. And why? Why don't they? Well, La Croix says it's not so simple because even though it's seen as being a boogeyman here in France and abroad, the truth is the 35-hour work week has actually had some positive impacts on the French economy. And so that's why it's such a hard thing to get rid of.
Um, let's end on a slightly lighter note then. Uh, Le Parisien focusing on how to look at the glass half full. That's right. This is a crazy front page for uh, Le Parisien, it must be said. They, they talk about little recipes for everyday happiness. Why today? Well, of course, the day is being rocked by strikes across the country. Uh, and so Le Parisien has come up for, for with this list for all, the, all those of you who are going to be stuck in traffic, maybe grumbling a little bit. Well, you can see here, uh, Aujourd'hui en France says, if you want to be happy, well, you have to learn to be happy. And uh, Aujourd'hui en France has come up with uh, some scientifically proven methods to improve your everyday life. So what are these lessons you might want to know? Well, get rid of toxic people in your life. Surround yourself with happy people. Listen to music. Smile. It'll make you feel better. So this is kind of a, a weird list of topics. And I, in fact, Le Parisien is the first to say it's a little bit cheesy, but... When you're going to be stuck in traffic, anything will work to just brighten up your day and turn that uh, that frown upside down and make it into a smile. Crikey, I hope <laughs> no one says that to me when I'm stuck in traffic on the way home. Uh, thanks so much for that. Florence Villemanot with the press of you this morning. More